Aloha, my name is Gary Jackson and I'm an interpretive park ranger here at the World War II Valor in the Pacific National Monument. This afternoon we're on board the USS Arizona Memorial. The names that are listed just fronting the memorial wall itself, dated from 1982 through 2010, are the names of survivors. Survivors that were fortunate enough to make it off the ship on the attack on the Arizona on December 7, 1941. These survivors went on to serve their country and upon leaving the military spent their lives and had families like we would normally do. And of course upon passing they have requested to be re-entered into the ship allowing them to spend eternity with their shipmates that they left behind serving still the Arizona to this day. Now these individuals are first cremated, their ashes then placed in a very special watertight urn. For maximum privacy, we wait until the end of the workday, when the last tour has been completed. Only then do we reserve the Navy boat that brought us out here to bring the urn, family members, and a full honor guard here to the memorial. Once on the memorial, they'll set up and stage a detailed ceremony to honor that individual. Upon its completion, with taps played in the background, the urn is officially marched out to the lower dock. There, it's turned over to our chief diver. The diver, upon accepting the urn, swims from the dock just beyond gun turret number three and continues to the fourth gun turret. It's this fourth gun turret, as you can probably imagine, that remains underwater 24-7. At the base of the number four gun turret is a five and a half foot crevice. The individual will then slow, uh, slowly swim along this five and a half foot area as they look for an opportunity to insert the entire urn, thereby returning them to their shipmates for all time. Out of the 33 internment services here aboard the USS Arizona Memorial, I've attended two. Of those two, I can say that they are very deep and profound. It's uh, very much a military type ceremony honoring the individual and it does bring tears to the eyes by the time it's completed. 